Hi everyone, welcome back to Genotopia. Well today on Triat Tuesday we are going to uh, talk about the Marc Jacobs, um, what is it called, the Velvet New York Major Volume Mascara. I have been wearing this mascara for about a week now and um, Miss Bella is sitting right here so let's look at Miss Bells. There's beautiful Miss Bells. But anyway, let me tell you what the internet or what the Marc Jacobs claims about this mascara. It retails for $26. They say it is uh, experience the ultimate volume and look of thick false lashes with this mascara. The lash volume and curvy brush places the most volume in hard to reach places. Um, Defining tip, la uh, tip la style lashes for major drama. It's super concentrated. Black pigment delivers the greatest visual impact. Um, gives thick lashes in one sweep. It contains no parabens, sulfates, or phosphates. And um, I agree. It gives beautiful lashes. Let me tell you a little bit more about this mascara. I think it gives... Get off the mirror, baby. I do agree that it gives beautiful, beautiful lashes, but after about five hours of wear, I started noticing flaking. So, is it worth the beautiful lashes for about that amount of time? Well, if I was going to a event and was only going to be there about four or five hours, I think it's a great mascara. Will I repurchase this mascara for $26? No, because... I work an eight hour day and I don't like all those little flakes underneath my eyes. But if I'm going somewhere just for that amount of time, it's beautiful. So let me show you what it gives me on my lashes. Let me get my hair out of the way. There's what the brush looks like. It's kind of like an hourglass brush. Very faint fragrance. Let's go in. It is a one coat mascara and you know I am a one coat girl. Oh, Bella hears birds outside the window. Go in on the lower lashes. So there is no mascara and there is one coat. So it does give beautiful lashes for one coat. But like I said, I don't know if it's maybe my lashes rubbing my glasses that causes the flaking. I don't experience with a lot of other mascaras, so I'm not sure what the issue is. I do think it gives beautiful lashes, and if it didn't flake after four or five hours, then I would say I love this mascara, and I would repurchase it, but not when I get flakes on my on my face. So that's just my opinion. I really do think this gives beautiful lashes, but I just don't like the flaking that I end up with after not making it through a full day of wear. And here is two coats. So it's a very buildable mascara and you can get some really dramatic looking lashes. And you know, I love a mascara that I can just throw on one coat and out the door. So, you know, look at those lashes after two coats and then that wasn't even a full second coat. I mean, so look at that. I feel like a, you know, drama queen with these lashes. But I just don't um, like the flaking. Um, if you use this mascara and don't get flaking, let me know. I don't know if it's, like I said, rubbing my glasses or what. But uh, for me, $26 for a mascara that doesn't make it through the workday for me just isn't going to cut it. So uh, that's just my opinion on Genotopia. Take it for what it's worth. I always give you, you know, the facts. And I hate to knock a product, but I give you the, my honest opinion. So uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and a share. If you like my channel, please subscribe. 
and uh, hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video and be sure to share the love not the hate and that is just my opinion on the Marc Jacobs mascara I've tried other Marc Jacobs products that I really love and I hate to give this a bad review but I always tell you the truth so uh, share the love not the hate